Hi and welcome to a look at what's making headlines in natural health this week on iHealthTube.com. With the dramatic increase in production and sales of zero calorie products, many containing artificial sweeteners, the question is why is obesity and diabetes still such an issue in this country? Well, new research may be providing a clue. A study out of Wisconsin fed different groups of rats fructose and glucose or aspartame and another artificial sweetener often known as ACE-K. Significant differences in the concentration of chemicals, fats, and amino acids were found in the blood after three weeks. Researchers found ACE-K or acesulfame potassium seemed to accumulate in the blood with higher concentrations affecting the cells that line blood vessels. The results also suggested artificial sweeteners change how the body processes fat and gets its energy. The authors said the results don't necessarily show if artificial sweeteners or sugar is worse than the other, but that both can lead to a risk of negative health outcomes. The benefits of antioxidants have long been known, but now researchers are pinpointing a benefit from a certain supplement on blood vessels. The research done in Colorado studied a supplement called MitoQ, which is made by altering coenzyme Q10. The small study of 20 healthy men and women gave half the MitoQ and the other half a placebo. The researchers, after a two-month period, found that those taking the supplement found dilation of arteries improved by 42%, basically making blood vessels look like those of someone 15 to 20 years younger. The results led the author to suggest targeted mitochondrial-specific antioxidants may be beneficial in reducing oxidative stress that often comes with aging. Finally, there's certainly been an increase in the awareness of beneficial gut bacteria and gut health in recent years. Now researchers in Georgia have learned another benefit of these beneficial bacteria. The study focused on the probiotic Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG, or LGG. The common over-the-counter probiotic was given to mice over two weeks to see how they also responded to a high dose of acetaminophen. Too much acetaminophen can cause liver damage, but researchers found the mice treated with the probiotic suffered less liver damage when given high doses of acetaminophen. The lead researcher said the study suggested the probiotic can not only help with gut health, but also help protect the liver from oxidative damage. That's a look at what's making headlines in natural health this week. Make sure to go to iHealthTube.com and sign up for our free email newsletter to stay connected to the latest.